Everybody and welcome back to a very special double edition of chess because today we have discovered an opening that you can play both with black and with white and I'm going to be including two games that were just played live on Twitch so if you want to come and see this my name is Vampire Chicken make sure you come and follow me on Twitch but this is what you are in store for today this crazy wild position where the opponent gets three pawns up in your face and you have bishops and knights that are ready to go to f2 you're going to learn about it we we played it once as black. I'm not going to tell you what happened, but then we played it again with white and we played two really interesting games that I hope that you guys do enjoy. That's all we got to say. Enjoy your video. So the creepy crawly basically just wins by force. I think that's what we've, we've come to find out. As black, we can do it, but like a little bit different. Because here we can play the Zilbermint's Gambit, which has some potential to also be very fun. I guess chat really does like this. Yes, this is the line. Wait, how does this go? Here... Wait, this is the crazy psycho line. We keep getting this. I need I need to remember because I took a vacation. Can I still remember? The title is wrong. There's no alliance in chess. Uh, read the title again. I think you, you don't know what you're talking about. But this line is crazy. Wait, now what do I do? There's something very important that needs to happen here. How does this line go? It goes takes, right? Takes and just castle. And then if H3, you just leave the knight there. I think this is how this one goes, right? Castle, h3, I can just leave the knight there, but it's not rook here. Wait, what is the line? Wait, what is happening? <laughs> we got the crazy line, but I took a vacation and I can't remember what the, the secret prep was. But this isn't it by the opponents. I'm like very close to just like crushing them. Oh, how come I can never remember the, the psycho theory here? Okay, let's protect our bishop. Look, guys, our bishop's hanging. I guess we're going to protect our bishop. Queen a5, maybe. Could have been queen a5. But here I'm just going to keep bringing my stuff out like nothing is happening. There's, there's just... Like, just stuff has been happening on f2 every single turn. Wait, now I got him. Huh. Hey. Okay. I guess I'll attack your queen. I mean, this should still be, like, insane for me, right? Because I can always just take the rook if I can't come up with something even better. I take this or not? I could also just develop. What if I just developed? Like, I don't know. What's happening? Knight a4? I don't care. I don't sweat knight a4, do I? No, knight a4 is not a big deal. I'm just going to develop my pieces. I, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Take on c4 first. Yeah, maybe. I thought about it. But this is funnier. So he has to react to that anyway. Now I'm going to take this rook. And somehow, if I can take this and get my queen here, we got this. So if I go here, I bet he takes this. No, wait, but he won't be able to. No, no, no. He's, the queen is pinned here. So close. I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm so close. Here? I'm not sure. Because if here I can block. But if takes, maybe then I take this way. And if here I just take it this way. Wait, I'm almost setting up a mate threat. I take back. I'm also getting texts. I'm getting some, some complicated things. This threatens mate. So let's threaten checkmate. So I guess he's going to move this guy out. And now I can just go here and I'm winning. Uh, is that best? Probably. But we block the connection of this. And if takes, I can just take back with a knight and I'm winning. I'm just easily winning. So this worked out, but we missed, we missed whatever the crazy psycho line is. The more, no? Take on D7? You blundered. How did I blunder? Oh, the opponent's gonna play here, you suspect? Why, I saw that. What's the problem? I'm not worried about it. Why do you think, what do you mean? You're worried about this, right? My rook is protected. I could, I could make you happier by taking this, but I'm not as convinced that it's as bad as you think it is. Uh, 
Could take this pawn. Because <laughs> there's a mate threat. Oh, I don't have any time. Okay, shoot. All right, we got to go fast. Oh, wait. Now I'll just take this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I'm in panic mode. I'm in full panic mode. Okay, let's try to go quick. I mean, here for here looks pretty amazing. Okay, he's allowed me this. Excuse me? I think we got him. Queen, no, 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 rook takes, obviously. The queen's coming back to guard. Dang it! But wait, no, it, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I missed it again. You missed mate. Mate, what did I miss? What did I miss? Wait, so this was the crazy line. So this is the Zilberman's Gambit, which is obviously horrible, but I have no idea why. Knight to c6, and then here. This is the way of doing it. No YouTube video. What, you think I won't publish a loss? This is important and instrumental to the theory of this opening. This is a monumental game. I missed a queen sack. Okay, let's go back and see if we can find it. So bishop c5, this has never been played. But if you look in the Lee Chess database, knight f3, d6. The idea is to get here. Play knight f6, which has only been played one time, but black already has the advantage. And it goes like this, knight to g5. Now, I couldn't remember for the life of me what the actual theory is. But this is not what normally happens. What's the crazy line? Queen d5? There's some line where the opponent goes here and then we take back. It was so clear of a week ago. But after bishop c4, I decided to take... They took back and now I castled. And this is minus four. I'm just insanely winning this game. There should be no possible way of losing. The queen came in. Uh, so instead of doing anything directly, I played queen b6. This is computer approved. Now the computer says go here or here. But the opponent developed a piece. I played here. This is still computer approved moves. Taking on c4 is stronger than this, but not by that much. The computer's main line is takes, takes, and then just take back this pawn, and then just be winning. Okay, but I was looking for, like, some major thing. But I went here attacking the queen and the rook. Then I went here without taking. Everyone was shouting take on c4. This is also very possible. And then you can just take this. This is also very, very winning. But I developed my pieces, like my name was Paul Morphy or something. Knight d4 didn't quite occur to me. I just took this rook. It's still minus eight. Queen b4 here and set. No, this is all, like, I'm playing great. All of this is actually great and tremendous play. I've done this very well so far. This is a small inaccuracy, but it not, like, it's not horrible. I should maybe just take this pawn just to make sure there's never any, any threat here. This is fine. You guys were mad here. Everyone of you was worried about this move, but I was, I was going to go here. And I feel like maybe you're worried that there's some takes and then like the queen comes in. But even if we do that, this rook is defended. So I wasn't really worried about it. Rook c6 and life is great. I'm not exactly sure what chat was worried about, but d7 was an interesting try there. Uh, here I should just take with my queen. I had no interest in trading queens though. Oh no, I should take the knight. For a second there, I thought it was saying I should take the bishop, but I should take the knight. Obviously, everything is winning. So this should be winning too, just a little bit less so. Now, I should always take this pawn, but I'm just not the type to take material. And then we ran out of time, and then we panicked. And here I missed a checkmate. Here I have this move. And whatever takes back, I can sack my queen. I did miss a checkmate. Shoot! Like, it was, ah, uh, it was right there. It was right there. And it was obviously something that I did a collinear move instead of doing the direct mate. And I was thinking about that square the whole time. So it's not like I didn't, my focus wasn't on this square. Just somehow I, I let up on the gas pedal here in the last second. Oh no. So it actually was a really well played game. And I'm still better at the very end. But I spent too much time. Oh dear. 
Oh, hopefully YouTube doesn't roast me because maybe we'll throw this on YouTube too. Anyways, that's the the, the gambit. Please subscribe. Woohoo. Woo. -hoo. Woo. <laughs> I won my second game today while well, learning from my game. Let's go. That's the way to do it. Uh, Zilberman's Big L game. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, what are we cooking today? Well, chat seems to really be enjoying the Zilbermints and the creepy crawlies and whatever. So if you've just joined the stream, I guess this is what's up. We're playing, we're playing some A3H3 and seeing what we can do. Hello, Butter. How's it going? How's it going? So let's see if we can do what we did in the last game, but maybe in reverse. What do you think? We can! Wait, we have the same thing as last game, but wait! We can improve. It can be a double feature. Let's go. How's it going, Hornet? Wait, so I go here. This is exactly the same, except for I, I put in an extra, an extra A3 move, which maybe is useful. But isn't this exactly the same thing, but in reverse? Noob Gambit, what are you talking about? How's it going, Alex? All right, everyone has arrived just at this pivotal moment. So this would be the last game, but in reverse. But opponent is thinking. They're deep in thought. They don't know what to do. How do I get this variation so frequently? Well, because black normally plays in the center. What the heck is that? So if here they're planning something like this, does that even work though? Because then they, all these squares are weak. Wait, what is H6? Really? Do I believe it? I don't believe it. I guess I'm gonna call this bluff. Maybe he's gonna go here, I'm gonna castle. Oh no, maybe I can't castle, but I will castle. I mean, I can't play queen e2. If he pins me, I can defend my knight. Or I can castle, allow, uh, let, let's, let's figure this out. Queen takes here, they have knight here. But then I, do I have f3 or not? Or can I do anything in between? Wow, so they're gonna go here. Okay, go there. See if I care, go ahead, give me this check, I go here. I guess you have this move. Okay, because I can always get out by taking this, which I guess I should opt for. F4 is a threat. Wait, maybe it's not a threat anymore. These these pieces are on the, in the same alignment. How do I how do I win it? It's in the same alignment. Let's sack another pawn. Should we go for this? How does this work out? Let's try this move. It's the most aggressive move that I can find. What is happening? I know <laughs> this. I mean, these positions are like so crazy. I really do think that if we spend time exploring these and we learn how to play these lines better. We could have some crazy good results. I castle? Cause it's definitely like, if you prep this, you should, you should actually do like insanely well. Cause who's gonna be ready for this? Rookie one. Let's try rookie one. See if we can get away with that. I mean, this looks ins what? He's not scared? Like not, e not even a little bit? I go here? I'm attacking the queen. So if you have to take, I take back check and then there's just, there's a lot of loose things. There's an exchange hanging. A lot of, a lot of stuff is happening here. Alex, the guy that says hi and nothing more. Yeah, but he hangs out. Alex, Alex is an OG. We appreciate Alex around here. He comes by, generally says nice things. Although sometimes he makes me angry, but it's he's good. Alex is good. Let's go! You know what else is good? This gambit. Wait, maybe we can do a double feature. It was that first game, and now this is my redemption arc where I played it as the white pieces. We'll just have one really long YouTube video. What the heck? So here was the same opening, but in reverse, this time with E4. So the computer hates it, but it's a lot better as white. It's like minus two or something when you do it on the other side. But if you do it with white, it's even better. And now after F5, I play here, not D3, which is the computer move, but there is like some trap that I would expect people to fall for, D3. So most people are gonna take, and obviously so, 
but now you're better. It's the same as the game as when we were black. We're, we're better in this position. But the opponent didn't play e4, allowing knight g5, where there is some sort of crazy line. I really want to remember what it is. It must be here, takes, queen goes somewhere. There's some, like, crazy line. Yeah, like with h6, this is it, where they can take, you can take back, and this is just good for you, because everything's going to be opening up. You can't, yeah, queen d4 is being mentioned, because here, if you go here, queen d4 wins for black. So in this position, if they can attack your bishop, it doesn't matter that you win this. They get more material, plus your knight is trapped. So this sets up a devious threat by the opponent, that if we go in for this right away, we lose. And I think I did this in one game, and I learned this the hard way. So be pay close attention. The, the idea is not to go for this right away, but to set up threats of opening everything up in the center. So Joe, who plays the Traxler, might actually like this crazy line. But in this game, yeah, what was this? So I guess correct is not attacking the knights, but rather developing a piece. What a shocking move. There was a mate. Okay, let's go see it. But here we saw h6, and I just called the bluff boldly, and I took this pawn, and then maybe missed a checkmate at some point. Uh, after bishop here, I went here. Knight g6 is a lot stronger, attacking the rook. And the rook is, like, basically trapped. Imagine this move being played. Oh, the humiliation of it all. But I went here, expecting this move, and I played here. And I was kind of expecting this move to be played at some point. But I guess I can just take... Like, look at this. What the heck is happening? I probably would have castled, but this is stronger. Even though it allows some capture, you just easily take back in no sweat. There was mate in my analysis. Oh, apologies. Um, so that would have been in this line. If here... So remember, not here because of queen d5. My analysis was here, queen e7, here h6, more taking, here, here. What did I mess up? I, somehow I messed up in the analysis, apologies. There was, the, there was some slightly better analysis. But in our real game, we saw here, I have to take this now. Knight to b5 is correct. Castles? Rookie one is correct. Yo, we're insane with this opening though. And this is now just winning. It's plus eight, so my opponent resigns. So there you go. How you can play this one opening. You can play it with black. You can play it with white. This was the, the double arc. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you subscribe for more. See you guys later.